Hello everyone and welcome back to Outward. We're gonna get out of here and we're gonna go out and explore to the east of town and we need to find this basically anything to get us some more silver. We have a couple of priorities uh, and we have three days before any of the major quest givers here are gonna have quests for us. We picked up a bunch of side quests from a lot of the vendors and crafters here in town. Um, and yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it tracks the side quest uh, in our quest log at all, which is really interesting. So uh, we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, how are we looking? So we could drop that. We don't need a tent and a bedroll, I don't think. Okay, that got rid of our corruption completely. Okay. And that was the cheaper potion for corruption decreasing. Alright, we've already explored a little bit of the downtown clock. Let's head over and check out the ruined hippodrome. I think, I think it's been snowing the entire time that we've been over here. Uh, I wonder if it ever changes seasons or if it's uh, a, a winter zone. The Chersonis would go through cycles of what seemed like summer and winter, basically. I wonder if we, we didn't quite go s far enough to the south. I wonder if this is just looping us back around up here. Let's head this way. We are hungry. Uh, can we do anything about that right now? Whew. We don't have a lot to eat, guys. We are going to have to resolve that. Filled with dormant corruption. It doesn't seem like that's something we want to eat. Not 100% sure, but it sounds bad. Where does this lead? I think that is where we inevitably want to go to check out the ruined Hippodrome would be that building directly southeast of us. Let's just take a look up here. Well, wait, because this has to be something. You know what? Looking at the shape of this, this is the ruined Hippodrome. Yeah, this has to be. It's some kind of, like, arena, right? Oh, hi. What the heck? the hell are you guys? Oh, totally wasted that. Well, that was nice. Oh, it hit this guy too. It must be some kind of like shadow step maneuver where we hit both of them. Or everybody that's in combat with us. It probably says like it's an AoE if I read the description. A Vieber, not a beaver, a Vieber. <sighs> they love to switch a few letters around in a word, like turnip to termip, and then make it like its own thing. Well, there we go, some raw meat. Uh, we might need to cook that soon. 
Raw meat and antique eel. I see a giant ass golem up there of some kind. And I don't know if we want to fight it. Actually, there's two things. They both look incredibly vicious. Uh, let's peel off over here for a minute. And let's investigate what we can without having to fight those guys at first. See how far that takes us. Doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of loot in general. I would be fine trying to take one of these guys on. I don't really want to take two of them on. Maybe we can lure this guy. Hey, buddy. Uh, he did something. I don't know what he did, but he glowed green for a minute. Oh, he's hitting us with some kind of energy. I have a feeling this is going to end incredibly badly for us. Oh! Our, our spear is badly damaged. Oh no! Yeah, he's basically gonna wreck us, right? I don't know what is happening here with my controls. Oh, we can't attack anymore. Oh, we have no stamina to attack anymore. That's the problem. Stamina is a good thing to have. Okay, with with some stamina, we probably could have taken this guy out. I feel like if we, now that we know some of his moves, that would have been a good time to heal up. I kind of want to pick up my bag and get out of here, but... Oh, and we're down. Okay, well... I think that was a shield golem. Seemed like it would be a shield golem. Oh good, it's dropping us into a miscellaneous dungeon. Okay, well, that could have gone a lot better. Uh, great. Um, hmm. Our backpack has been taken. Doesn't open from here. Uh, and we have uh, a badly damaged weapon and we have no way to sleep. Oh, we do have a way to sleep. Well, let's rest up first. I guess, and then we'll see if we can get out of here and get our bag back. This is the first time that I've been separated uh, from my bag, like, in a long time. It's the first time I've been separated from my bag in a way that I'm not sure how to get it back in a very long time. And it's a very uncomfortable feeling and I don't like it. Uh, we'll take it with us for now.
And I guess we're going to try to circle around here. That guy's probably shocked. <laughs> like, hmm, why is this moving? Uh, okay, it's great that we're in here. I want to loot all this stuff. We will loot all this stuff, but we need to get our bag, and it has to be somewhere behind this. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, hi there. Okay, that thing, I, I don't want to take those guys on because they look like they are patrolling together. Maybe our backpack is over here. Okay, perfect. I'll take that. Brutal Knuckles, okay. Invigorating Potion, yes. Silver, yes. Enchanting, yes. Uh, we're gonna leave the charge. I, I don't, I don't use pressure plates. All right, let's go loot everything that we can over here. Uh, Kazite, yeah. I mean, wow. Okay. Uh, I want to grab the axe too, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna it's gonna put us over on weight limits. Let's go back and see what else we can loot, and see what our weight looks like after that. Uh, yeah, uh, that was not what I wanted to press. Whoops. Stamina cost negative 8%, that's not bad. Uh, the alchemy kit is going to weigh a lot. What are we wearing now? 6, 10, 5. There we go. Now we're styling. Some Kazite gear. Our food problem is temporarily solved. That's good.
Uh, Kazite Lance. Is this a spear? It is 32 and 19. All right, yeah, let's do that. I mean, I want all of this stuff, but we're not gonna be able to carry it all back. Uh, wasn't there one more, like, a gemstone somewhere that we didn't loot? Maybe it was on this guy. Uh, no. Well, since we're here, uh, maybe we just f try to explore more of this place. Uh, we have a little bit of bag capacity left. We can see what else is in here. And I guess I guess we have to find a way out anyway, so... Okay, those two guys I want to... Oh shit, we've made a terrible mistake. Okay, yeah. No, we made a terrible mistake. Okay, yep, we're, we're out of there for now. We are out of there for now. We have to figure out where we are at. We could have taken the one guy, no problem. I think having the two guys was going to be a big problem, especially along with that floating golem device thing. Uh, what are we going to use for a landmark in this zone? We need to be able to figure out where the hell we are. I, I don't see, I don't see anything we could really use. Broken buildings and, oh wait, is that the clock tower? So we're looking almost due west. We're looking a little bit southwest, so... I don't know, maybe we're like over here somewhere? So if we had a little bit northwest, 
Northwest should take us back to town if if I'm right about where we're at. Uh, we have a little bit of capacity though. I regret not picking up more of those weapons now. Maybe we should just go back in there and pick up at least one more thing, right? Well, that's if I can remember where, where we just came out of. Back there. Yeah, I think we can grab either the shield or one of the weapons, maybe. I don't know. It depends on if these guys are all stacked up at the door or not. We're going to leave this at the door here. That was all really unfortunate, and I don't know why it happened. Okay, this guy is kitted out. Okay, we're not we're not gonna get out of here. <laughs> we're not gonna get out of here with more loot. We're just gonna get crushed. Uh, that guy seemed to have a significant amount of armor on. One bad decision after another. Alright, again, we, we just get teleported. We could be anywhere. Uh, take the drink. That's fine. I don't care about the note. All right, well, well then, uh, we are somewhere here right now. Let's go north and just uh, see about getting us back to town. Just do a bandage. Should probably just do some rest. Uh, are we going to freeze while that happens? I, I don't know. It's entirely possible that we will. Doesn't say that we're going to get too cold. Usually it would warn us, I think, but maybe we'll be fine. Yeah, the temperature here is cold, but it doesn't seem like it's cold enough for us to freeze. Or we have enough protection against it that we're not going to freeze. As much as I want to explore every one of these buildings, I also want to be able to get our loot back to town. Oh, look at this! They're gonna go- I was gonna lead them to that golem, but they are gonna go after it. What are they doing? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, that was not how I wanted to get involved. Oh. Yeah, don't mind me, guys. I decided that's not a fight that I want after all. These guys are enemies, but they don't seem like incredibly keen on attacking us. Looking at their armor, I, I'm now suddenly not, and how quickly they killed that thing, I'm not too keen on attacking them either.
Oh, hi there. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and not fight you guys. Corruption area, we're gonna wanna sprint through this and get out the other side here. So the clock tower is gonna be our, our guiding star in this zone as far as figuring out where we're at whenever anything untoward happens to us and we get crushed. Well, let's sell what we do have, what we did manage to pick up. I'm really regretful for not grabbing at least one more of the weapons or maybe the shield that dropped off the shield bearer. Uh, but we'll sell anything that we can and we'll see if that gets us enough to buy a bigger bag. That would help us a lot. We'd be able to stay out longer. Um, I wouldn't have to be so hesitant about what I pick up. Wonder how many days have passed if we were unconscious. There we go. Uh, I think we can we can speak to one of the deans now as well. I'm gonna talk to the history dean. Oh, we do have two of these to sell, okay. Ah, uh, the Knuckles. have our 100 capacity bag so that's going to help us out a lot there it is uh, can I take this bag with us there we go and can I sell that bag I can it's not worth a lot but we can sell it I need to learn more about these enchantments and, and how we enchant things. Uh, but yeah, the next thing up is, is probably going to be... What does our weapon look like now? 32, 19, and 1. Is a weapon going to be a priority or is our armor going to be a priority? That's kind of what we have to decide next. Brutal spear. Uh, different two, they have multiple two-handed swords, but only the one spear that isn't that good. But they have amazing swords. That doesn't seem exactly balanced, uh, but okay, maybe we'll be focusing on armor next.
None of it seems overly spectacular, honestly. Uh, so maybe we'll just hold off on everything and we'll start saving up our coins. I don't know if we can buy a house here, but we need to figure out if we can buy a house here. We need to do that. That's usually about 500 uh, silver to buy a house. So maybe we should start saving for that. Let's go ahead and we'll talk to the academic dean. And see what kind of quest he has for us. You want to help me? You? Then stay out of any ruins you might find, and whatever you do, don't plunder anything you find there. There are valuable historical relics out there, and uncultured goons making off with them for some quick silver will just rob everyone else of their history. Stick to driving off bandits. They're even worse when it comes to respecting our shared history. Uh, but how can I become an initiate if I can't take on a job? Go pester Victor Berthelot if you want a handout. We don't exactly have much crossover in our fields of study, but I only hear good things about him, and he's often willing to take a few chances on initiates. Victor... Berthelot. Okay, so we have to work with the military dean. <laughs> it says, like, go ahead and go choose uh, who you want to apprentice under, but then it keeps making us go to this guy. I'm currently dealing with a difficult contract with the Wolfgang Mercenaries Apprentice. I don't have time right now. Come back in a bit. Um, yeah, sure, we'll come back in a bit. How long is a bit? How long is a bit? Is a bit a day? Is it a couple hours? Well, let's see if we can find out. I guess all the meat we had must have rotted. Alright, let's try one more time and then we will uh, plan to do some more exploring, I guess, before we do anything else. We are very hungry. Yep. Yes, we are. Alright, this guy is serious. He does not want to talk to us right now. Which is okay. We have a lot to explore. We have a bigger bag that's going to help us stay out in the world longer. But the one thing we do need to find is we probably need to just get some food going on. We had some meat we could have crafted with, but the meat seems like it's spoiled at some point during one of our sleeps or maybe while we were captured. Kind of hard to tell. 
Could have been either. You look like you sell food. Well, let's just buy some bread uh, for now. So that way we at least have something we can eat when we need to. And I, I think we're going to take a bit of a break here. And then when we come back, uh, we'll head out back into the unknown and see what kind of loot we can scrounge up. What does this guy have? He has a bunch of various stuff that looks like it's old world stuff more than anything else. Hmm, interesting. Okay guys, yeah, thank you so much for joining me and I appreciate all the support you show the series. It really does mean a lot to me. So we will see you back in RI again real soon. Bye now.